Hey everybody, today I'm gonna show you how to open, remove this and this cover over here. You have to remove this cover here because there's a speaker wire from here to there's a speaker wire in the back that goes down in the speaker here. Let me show you. There's a speaker wire right here. That's it. There's a speaker wire. This one here, it goes to the speaker. And uh, in order to remove the, the point area here, you have to remove the wire down there. Otherwise, you're gonna pull the speaker wire. So I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna show you how to open this and remove this. And it, you know, it, uh, this one has a bad. Uh, on jack here. I ordered one online. I'm not, I'm not sure if this video about replacing this or just opening it. So let's see what the title is gonna be. But anyway, if you do need to replace this one, I ordered it online. This is it. It's for Crate and Marshall. It's called a uh, clip. It's a clip UK 140 6.3 millimeter mono switch jack socket for Marshall or box but you can use it for a click too. Right, I'll remove the covers now. Here. There's a screw here and a screw right here. But I need to touch to see it. But remove these two screws first to remove the cover here. Okay I'm gonna remove the, the screw on the side. Also, it's a good idea to have this magnetic uh, parts holder. I got this from uh, Harbor Freight for free. You get a coupon. Won't you screw up? Now we can remove this. Easy. And here's the speaker. Now, I have to remove the speaker too, so I'm, I like, I'm gonna flip it this way, lay it on its back, that way I can remove the speaker easily. And here's the wire. So I just pull this slowly. Gently, I mean. Put this on the side. To remove the top, to remove this, just just get this unscrew these four screws right here. This one, two, three, and four. You have to slide this out. There's a big power supply there. In the back. Here's the part I'm gonna try to replace. And it's soldered on the mother on the board itself. So I'm gonna desolder it, use a soldering iron and mold that and remove this one. And remove this one first. That's weird. I don't know how, why you have this thing. Like. Anyway, yeah, I got this used, probably the old owner. Uh, uh, post that thing there. Yeah, I'm gonna put this in under the speaker. 
speak with Kevin. Let's see what's up. Anyway, I don't have the wrench that fits the size, so I'm just going to use a flyer. There's two screws up here in the front, so you have to remove this two. Okay, I'm gonna mark an X on this one, and I have proof on my video. <laughs> oh, I can look it back that this X belongs to the one outside. I don't, I don't think it matters. I don't want the game out easier. This one's giving me problem. There we go. So this one belongs there. I just need to remove the screw. Yeah, maybe I didn't even need to remove that. That's why there's a little plastic thing here that's holding it in, so I have to pop that in. Okay, there's a little plastic thing here that's holding the board up, but I can't seem to take it out. This one is easier because it's big, but that one getting stuck there, so I'm just gonna break it. Okay, I broke off the tab that was over here, so I can remove this. some uh, what do you call it gourmet or something but between the four of them so make sure you keep them soldering iron and start okay there's the I flipped it over now you have to remove all this forehead you have to think heat it up so it can come out right. get my soldering iron okay I got my old soldering iron finally get the jack out of here and it took a long time. I think I may have damaged this part here. And uh, the soldering iron, this is 40 watt one from uh, Radio Shack. And it, it was able to take the, there's three 
here, but the fourth one it wouldn't budge. Uh, fortunately, my uh, my brother has a 50 watt uh, soldering iron station here, and was able to melt that part. But I did a lot of trying to trying to get rid of the to melt this iron. Yeah, I kind of did damage some of the port. Hopefully, it's not big major. Anyway, this is the part we're gonna replace. It's you can see the they cut the one part of it. It's supposed to be like this. Let's see if it's better. It's supposed to be like this. Okay, I can pick it up. See, they, they cut this part here, they cut it. So I'm gonna cut this part here and this part here. Like this one. And they've used this as to hold, and they push this all the way in and up to this part here. So I'm gonna cut this side. And the same side here too. Keep the outer side. Keep this part here and remove that part there. Alright. Okay. okay. The size over here to the point is about the quarter size. So I have to make that size right there. So I'm gonna trim this all the way down to the quarter size. Trim it down that marker line. I got it to fit. Soldered it in now, and you can see the mess I made earlier when trying to remove the solder of you. Hopefully, it's still functioning. If not, try uh, the board. Alright. Okay. Whoops. I put the. Okay, I put the spike on already. Everything fits fine, including the new jack over here. And I'm gonna try it with a speaker before I put everything back in there. I'm gonna make sure it works. This is my oops. Don't want to break the speaker. Okay, so the wires in there. Plug this in. you 
fix a broken jack. Okay, it was all trial and error. But I got it. I got it fixed. You could probably do it better than me, so that's how I do it anyway. So there you go, it's fixed. And that's how you open and remove it. That's how you remove the speaker, this, and fix the jack. Alright, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Auto-tune.